The federal government is looking at Kentucky to help put an end to the opioid and heroin crisis. U.S. Attorney General Loretta Lynch just spoke at the University of Kentucky. She announced a new push to improve resources, including enhancing the prescription drug monitoring program nationwide. It's designed for doctors and pharmacists to put information uh, in there about patients who are prescribed painkillers. The goal is to prevent them from abusing pills. Lynch says Kentucky's data sharing system is one of the best in the country. Now, according to a study that was conducted by the University of Kentucky and funded by our Bureau of Justice Assistance, one year, just one year after prescribers were required to register with the state database, doctor shopping dropped by more than 50%. The total number of controlled substance prescriptions declined, and 24 non-doctor-owned pain management facilities closed their doors. And Lynch says the federal government is also working to grow substance abuse programs available for inmates. And a new free online heroin and opioid curriculum for middle and high school students, parents, and teachers will be available next month. And this morning, Lynch was at Madison Central High School in Richmond hosting a town hall event for hundreds of teenagers. Carolyn Callahan has been following the Attorney General and her travels through the state as she worked to educate people about drug abuse. Carolyn. Eric, the events here in Kentucky today, including the one at the University of Kentucky and the one at Madison Central High School, are just two of more than 250 that are taking place throughout the country this week on this week of awareness. And this morning, students had the chance to ask questions about the epidemic and hear a very personal story. In a crowded room with more than 500 sets of eyes on him, Alex Ellswick was brutally honest. I was at Henry Clay. I was drinking alcohol on the weekends. I was smoking a little weed, I was having fun, I was chasing girls. Um, you see, that's the nature of addiction. It's all fun in the beginning. You don't know what you're in for. Ellswick is and a recovering drug addict, a title he never thought would describe him. Nine months, I went from smoking weed and snorting pain medication in my dorm room at Center College to being homeless and shooting heroin under a bridge in Dayton, Ohio. United States Attorney General Loretta Lynch says Ellswick's story is like many others. The prescription drugs become difficult to obtain, they become very expensive, and the heroin is cheaper and easier. Lynch says 1,200 people in Kentucky died last year from opioid and heroin addiction. The federal government is working with local leaders on how to stop and prevent drug abuse. She says it's more than a public health issue, calling it a moral crisis. A test of whether we here in the United States can protect our children, our friends, our neighbors, our fellow citizens from the scourge of addiction. President Obama has asked for $1.1 billion in funding for various initiatives addressing the epidemic. And Lynch says prosecuting dealers on the federal level is also a priority. We'll be uh, focusing our enforcement efforts on those dealers, on the distribution networks, on people who are bringing heroin into communities. For Ellswick, who says he finally got sober at a homeless shelter in Ohio, his new high is helping save lives with his personal story. And so addiction is possible for any of you all. But recovery is possible too. You can recover, you just have to ask for help. And a student asked the Attorney General if marijuana is a gateway drug to opioids and heroin. She said mostly they see that it's painkillers, but says that experimenting with any kind of drugs isn't a good idea. Reporting live, Carolyn Callahan, WLKY News. Carolyn, thank you. According to the federal government, opioid deaths caused by pain pills or heroin jumped 372 percent between 2000 and 2014. Kentucky had one of the highest uh, top five deadliest rates in the country. And according to Kentucky's Office of Vital Statistics, 476 died from overdoses in the first six months of the year. That number could increase as more test results come back.